morning how is everyone today i'm jane Isles bennett from hot space i am today going to be talking about uh, pool areas pool design and outdoor living spaces um it sort of probably sounds like a bit of a weird time to be talking about this but now is when people are starting to think about building those areas for their homes ready for the summer and uh, I'm just heading into a meeting this morning for someone who I have uh, done an outdoor living design for so that was um, a pool they've already got a really lovely big deck but um, they want to add on a pool and um, so it just got me thinking about how um, you can really I guess make an outdoor living space work so much better than a, a with sorry a pool and outdoor living space really work together a lot better than just plonking on a pool you can really create a link between the two and what that link what that visual link does is it creates flow from the say seating areas of the of the outdoor living to the pool itself and why that's important is if you have too much of a kind of if there's two if it looks too different then psychologically it, it sort of stops people um, moving into the pool area to actually have a swim so I know that sounds weird but it's actually human nature that if there's not a visual or a physical connection it's it means that the spaces won't get used so in this case a pool um, Please say hi. I'm going to carry on. I've got uh, four things to talk about, but please say hello if you can. Be great to um, know that you're there and you're listening and hopefully finding this information interesting. So, um, how we create flow between the two spaces? So, let's say you've got your living your outdoor living area and then you've got your pool area. One of the things that you can do is um, blend through the materials that you use. So, let's say um, you, let's say you've got a deck so you probably wouldn't necessarily put decking right around your pool but you can link through that material to somewhere around the pool so you've got that visual link if you've got let's say pavers or tiles or something then once again you can link those through so there's just sort of like a smooth line I suppose between the outdoor living areas and the pool area the other thing that you can do is consider the direction of the materials so what I mean by that is where let's say once again you've got decking you would do your decking from the towards the pool so the length of the planks would go from the house towards the pool and what that does is it visually draws the eye there and then physically takes you there and I know this all sounds a bit airy-fairy but it actually is a very true and same thing with um, let's say pavers or something like that um, you know maybe you get some rectangular pavers and you position them so that the long way is leading you towards the pool so they're just two sort of things that you can do um, the color of the materials again linking that through you know whatever colors you use around the pool have them around the outdoor living area too um they're also the type of pool fence that you have so if you have a clear glass pool fence that is much less of a physical barrier because it's completely see-through um between the outdoor living area and the pool uh, even if you you know if you have a handrail that's another level of a physical barrier so the more you can have just completely clear glass even just with spigots on the bottom that support the glass pool fence in place all the better obviously that's a bit more of an expensive option but um you know that is the way to get that sort of physical and um uh what's the word i'm thinking of yeah just that that sort of connection illusion of a connection not even illusion but you know what I mean anyway um, and it look if the budget doesn't um, go to a frameless pool fence you know maybe you have to go to some other sort of pool fence and typically I would if the budget is really low I would always choose a black pool fence over let's say a white pool fence because a black pool fence is much less sort of in your face um, but anyway so there are just some tips about creating a visual flow and a visual um, visual and physical link between a pool and an outdoor living area it may not 
have ever been anything that you've thought about but trust me it really makes a difference and this is some conversations I'm going to be having this morning with this client where I've designed it already and we're just going through a process of um, refining the materials and things with the, um, the pool um, builder so anyway have a great day um, probably won't see you over the weekend but um, yeah have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you Monday see ya